Hi, Philip Dingra here, creator of the hit iPhone app Tarot. I'm going to show you how to do tarot readings on your iPhone or iPod Touch. First, I'm going to give myself a reading. Tap on Guided Reading. Hit Begin. And here's the prompt. Think of a question. I'm going to ask the most frequent question I get. How do I achieve work-life fulfillment? As for the spread type, you can see there are many spread choices. There are 10 in total, including the popular Celtic cross. But we are going to do a basic three card spread. Tap show reading. Tap on the red card, which represents the first card you'll pick. In this case, it represents the present. So for my first card, I have the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, this is very interesting because it does relate to what's going on in my life. I feel like I'm working on a lot of projects for money. Um, I've sort of worked on my uh, nonprofit projects somewhat, but they've taken a back seat, uh, for example, in making, uh, making many iPhone apps. And if you tap on the card once, and then you tap on card meaning, uh, we have this handy little guide. Uh, the meanings represent here there's a keyword list, skill, artistry, apprenticeship, financial gain. Um, I'm still somewhat new in uh, being a freelance developer, independent developer, so there is still a lot to learn. Um, I'm learning how to delegate more of my tasks to other people, and so I think that's a good representation of the present. And tap card meaning again, hit close card, and then the next red card here, this represents the past. And I tap on that, the five of wands, this definitely represents the past for me. Uh, wands often represent messages, especially when they're in abundance, conflicting messages. Um, and I will say that in the past four years, I've been uh, very confused about what to do career rise. So, uh, click on or tap on close card. And uh, I want to show you that by uh, pinching with two fingers, you can zoom in and out of the spread, get an overview. I'll tap the final card the future. Three of Pentacles. Uh, so there's a little bit of a simplification. I had, I think in the present I had the, what was that? I had the Eight of Pentacles. Here I have the Three of Pentacles. So maybe there's some simplification going on. Maybe focusing on quality over quantity is the way forward. And then if I tap on this again, tap Close Card. And uh, yeah, that's a very simple tarot reading. Now you can tap back if you want to try a different spread. For example, here is the classic Celtic cross. Using the two finger gesture again, I can zoom out. And keep going until you've finished the entire reading. Tap home to go back home. Next, I want to show you a unique feature to the Terra app. Tap the social reading and deck browser. This is meant to be similar to having a real deck of cards. Tap again and you have a bird's eye view of every card. So you can use this as a reference tool. But it has a second usage. It's very unique to this app. Tap the spin button. And if you close your eyes and place your finger down onto the screen, it's almost like you're picking a randomly shuffled card. I like to use this method when giving tarot readings because it engages my friends by having them interact with the phone in a real, physical way. And that's Tarot, available on the App Store by clicking on the link to the right.